The brief was to provide a large office building, commercial building, at a location called Point Square. Point Square is a new public space in the city which has been in incremental development for a number of years and this piece of the site was, if you like, the final piece of the jigsaw. So you had a situation where we were asked to make a commercial office building. We were also putting a building beside a venue where there could be up to 15,000 people gathering at any one time and we wanted to try and respond to those two things in a, in a very positive way and that the form of the building would arise from that. Our aim on this particular project was that the building in the way it's raised up and that you can move under it would become, for instance, the threshold for large groups of people going to an event in the three arenas. So it makes a kind of context for that activity, whereas before it was just an open windswept site. A big element of its design and its form and its appearance is that we wanted to respond to the, the gantries and the cranes that are so redolent of Dockland uh, activity. And with that particular blue colour, the iconography of the building is very much related to its context and to its, to its dock side. So we ended up making this elevated beam of accommodation which goes from being seven storeys to 17 storeys. We wanted to produce a world-class working environment for up to 2,000 people in this building. So it's, you know, it's, a it's a large commercial building, but we also wanted to respond to all of the urban design opportunities that the site and the context and the location offered us. And that's really important. So there's a two-pronged approach to the scheme, which is, on the one hand, making an amazing working environment, which it does. But any of the floor plates have phenomenal views around the city. The perimeter of the building is column free because the structure is outside. So again, the views are really enhanced in terms of looking at the city and looking at the docks. So I think those two aspirations in tandem, both you know, office design and urban design, are the two aspirations that we had in terms of trying to do something which really works.